Hi everybody, it's Cindy. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, this is just a really quick add-on video to one that I did a week or two ago where I showed you my new kit that I'm absolutely in love with um, and how I made these journal cards or these could also go on the cover of a journal. What I like to do with them or what I'm doing with them right now is putting them, uh, sticking them in a piece of ribbon and um, wrapping it the whole thing around a journal cover. And um, when I was filming the video, I had run out of supplies, I had run out of paint. So I couldn't show you what I do on the back side of these to make these into journal cards. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly, but I'm still just I have not gotten bored with this kit yet because it's just so whimsical and such a fun time. I still have to sew all of these. I did one just to show you. But these were just so popular back in the 1920s, 1930s, and they're just so fun. I love the moons. I'm just really having a super fun time. This one says mooning on the bottom. So I just wanted to show you quickly how I am doing the journaling part on the back. Now a little bit of a theme that I've been doing lately is making junk journal ephemera without a lot of supplies and without spending a lot of money. Um, we've been going through COVID for almost a year now and um, some people just still, you know, even if you don't have money, I want you to still be able to craft and have fun. So the kit is only a few bucks. Um, and I'll, I'll put the link below on, on how I made these. This is watercolor paper um, that these are on. So, um, and then this is my Brayer wheel, uh, my speedball <laughs> that I've had since the 1980s when I was really into card making. This is just a piece of corrugated cardboard that just came free. It's I, I tore this part off of a box and um, whoops, saved a bunch of saved a bunch of these and uh, cut this down to the size that I wanted for the back of the card. And then the other supply I have is just a cheapo acrylic paint that I got at Walmart. This color is nutmeg. This was just a couple bucks, I think. So all I do, and I love the look of this, but I just put a little bit on my brayer, and I, I wash this afterwards. I put a little bit on my brayer wheel and get the paint on there. Oops, I got a little bit, put a little bit too much on. It's all, sometimes that happens. Got a little bit too much on here. Okay. Just get the paint on there. And then all I do, let me make sure I have a spot here without paint on it. I kind of made a mess. Then I just place this on there. Press it down. And the harder you press, the wider your journal lines are going to be. So I usually press pretty hard. And then there you go. You have uh, lines for journaling. And here's another one that I made where I put a little more paint on it. So that is the card. Now I just have to sew this one and this is going to be done. So that is this video is what less than five minutes long <laughs> but it's just it's just a little quick video that I wanted to show you since I wasn't able to do it when I filmed the original video on what the back of these look like and um, what I do with them so uh, I hope you enjoy this it's uh, if you like whimsy you will love working with these they're they're really fun so that's about it for today I hope you enjoyed this and give it a try. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!